Since the introduction of Fortnite, ping has always been a massive issue with the game. Being able to just outplay top-rated opponents and perform very well overall has always relied dramatically on a player's ping. Having anything above 40 ping could just make it almost impossible to achieve as well as your peers in Fortnite online events because they are so reliant on internet connection. That's why, man, it is so crucial to have a reliable connection that is just not only low ping but also able to just to not consistently fluctuate. Remember, there is a reason that the World Cup Finals were held in New York City through a LAN connection. And that reason is because LAN provides a zero delay gaming experience for all players. Therefore, you know, it's making the playing field entirely even when it comes to everyone's hardware performance. So in this video today, we're going to be telling you guys the best ways not to only reduce your ping, but also how to play with high ping. Hey, that's great news. I hope you're excited. This full guide is going to show you guys every possible way to improve your internet. And if all else fails, the high ping tips will be sure to improve your chances of placing. Hey guys, I hope you guys know who this is, man. This is your guy. Yeah, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And if you haven't connected with me yet on my Instagram, what are you waiting for, man? Come and connect with me, conversate with me. I want to make sure you guys do the best you can do in this game. So now you know what comes next. That's right. You guessed it. Hey, if you're looking to take your gameplay to the next level, you need to check out Instapro, where we have live 24-7 coaching from some of the best players in the game. What are you waiting for? Also, ProPass now grants five free coaching sessions upon purchase, as well as new in-depth analysis vids. Head on over to ProGuys.com right now. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. All right, so to begin, we're going to start with the most simple, yet most underrated way of reducing ping. Then we're going to show you guys some tips and tricks to play against low ping players while on a higher ping. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so the best way to achieve the best speeds are via an Ethernet cable. Many players around the world currently play using Wi-Fi connection. Although they can still average decent ping, using an Ethernet cable cap reduce ping exponentially, all right? As an example, let's say someone's currently playing on a 50 ping without an Ethernet cable attached. Once they connect their device on their router, they can expect an improvement that should enable them to play on 10 to 30 ping. That's crazy. This is a huge difference when playing against players who are on 0 to 10. Now, the best way to do this is by either moving the main router in your home closer to your setup or buying a second router and attaching it to the other one through a long distance cord. We recommend purchasing a 100 foot cable as this will usually work in most homes, even if your setup is on another level in your house. So once you've hooked up your setup, you should see a huge improvement, okay? But that's not all there is. What you want to do next is do an internet speed test. These can be found online and in specific devices. This will give you your personal max internet speed, okay? What you want to do with this number is go ahead and check the contract you have with your internet service provider. If your guarantee speeds up to at least 150 megabits per second and you're finding yourself with anything less, you're going to want to call your provider and request a speed bump. Oftentimes, internet providers will have issues with their servers that will limit your internet speed to under what was promised. The contract that you have with them guarantees a specific speed. This means that your provider will either have to fix it over the phone, which is great, or send someone to your house to fix it. And this should be all free of charge, yes. Once again though, make sure to check with your provider and this will, you know, this will vary depending on your contract. Now, ethernet connections and fast internet speeds are great, but what now? What if you have an ethernet connection or are not able to and your ping is still high? Well, now it's time to look at your location. Epic Games has a variety of different server locations all around the world. These servers are limited, however, but if you're someone with phenomenal internet and you constantly run into this problem of lower than expected ping, you may want to take a look at your location. Epic Games uses dedicated Amazon cloud servers to run their massive game. Take a look at your location and look up the nearest Amazon cloud server near you. If you find that this server is a very long distance away from you, we have a great solution. All right. There's a good chance that your current connection involves a long distance trace that can be shortened. What this means is that your connection has to travel all the way to the nearest internet server near you and then go to the Epic Games server. By using a tunneling service, you can find a server that is closest to the Epic Games server that is the least distance from you. This is going to shorten the distance that your connection has to travel, making your ping much better than before. This concept of tunneling is a very underrated one, but it can be used for great benefits if it's utilized correctly. So as a quick tip, we're going to give you guys a great way to lower ping in creative as well. Load into a creative lobby right now, all right, and go ahead and type in this map code. What this does is it reduces the amount of information that your internet has to send through the servers. This will make your internet much more efficient and give an overall performance boost. 
We recommend this every single time you load up a creative game when you're going to be playing against people for wagers or for competitive reasons such as tournaments. It's also going to help even out the playing field, guys, if you're someone that usually has ping issues. Now, let's just say that you've done everything in this video and you're still struggling to play with low ping. All right, this section is for you. The tips in this part of this video are specifically designed to help higher ping players perform better against their foes with great ping. All right, so check it out. The first thing you want to do is take advantage of player mindsets. You don't always have to hold walls to be able to dominate in box fights. Oftentimes, you're going to find yourself being able to get the first shot off when your opponent is the one editing. And playing with their mind to make this happen can make a world of difference for you guys. What we're basically saying, all right, is that you should stop trying to take walls and just put all of your focus on your shots because at the end of the day, it's very hard to get shot off without a trade. This is a core aspect of Fortnite that is almost never acknowledged. Think about it. Have you ever been able to shoot someone without them having an angle to shoot you back? The answer is obviously no. It's because it's impossible to do so when considering the game mechanics that Fortnite has. In rare cases, a quick edit or surprise shot will work, but the majority of the time, both players will hit each other, at least on the competitive level. So, moving on to the next tip, we have some really cool tricks that you guys can use in fights to face through walls and make plays. These tricks, my friends, will not be relying on your ping. Great news, and are techniques that anyone can use to trick their opponent. The first will be the use of pyramids and ramps to face through walls. The way you want to do this is by placing yourself at the very edge of the box that is on the side your enemy is. Now, what you want to do is place a ramp facing away. What will happen is you will face through the ramp, giving it a slightly golden yellow color. When facing through objects, there's a secret game mechanic that actually pushes you through other structures. So, once you've set this up correctly, go ahead and pick out your opponent's wall, and it should let you right into their box. Once you're here, you're going to put them in a very tight situation, and you now have the option to spam them with a spray weapon like an AR or SMG, or go for a witty shotgun shot as soon as the opponent goes for the ramp edit play. The genius behind our playing opponents, guys, while playing on high ping comes from your ability to not rely on your builds. After all, a lot of people don't realize this, but Fortnite is entirely playable without building. If you don't believe us, check out all the challenges that people have completed where they win a game of Fortnite without building even one time. And this all goes back to the core idea that you cannot be shot without being able to shoot back. Moving on to the second trick, you guys have to be able to predict what will happen. The thing is that you guys have a particular advantage over low ping players because you're always going to know the outcome of a wall grab. While the other opponent might not even be sure they're going to get your wall or not, you know for a fact that they will. Since you know this, you can just use this to your advantage by being one step ahead. Always be ready for them to open up that wall and have your gun out. Many times the reason people end up dying in box fights is that they still have their builds out while the other opponent has taken the wall and is going for the edit play. Since you're not focused on holding the wall, guess what? You should always have your gun out ready to shoot. This is going to change fights like in a crazy way for you and give you guys the best ability to just dominate it when it comes to gunfights where your building isn't a factor. Always remember the fact that you can't get shot without being able to shoot back. How many times have I said that? Probably 100. We've repeated this throughout the video because this is the most critical concept that's going to change the way high ping players play. As for the final tip, we want to stress the most important thing for players with high ping, all right? And that is their aim. You guys absolutely have to focus on your aim and hitting your shots. Your aim is the only thing that you actually have that's not going to let you down due to a delay. Trust us when we say that hitting your shots and focusing on them more than anything, dude, that's going to change like everything for you. It's going to make the most significant difference when it comes to players with high ping. Instead of spending time learning retakes and new building metas that are practically impossible on high ping anyway, all right, wasting your time, why not just spend that time perfecting your aim so that you could just hit all of your shots in your next encounters? One thing to help you guys improve your aim is just try your best to stay calm and collected when in fights. Because being on edge and losing your focus is going to ruin your aim and cause for shaky and inaccurate shots. You don't want that. This is exactly what you guys want to avoid. We suggest that you guys go ahead and watch our video on how to improve your aim, which is amazing. We have great videos that's going to give you guys a ton of tips that will help you stop missing those critical shots. All right, guys, so to summarize everything in this video and help you guys remember the key points before your next game, we're going to do a quick run through of everything we discussed. All right, guys, you ready? First, you want to make sure that you have a hardwired connection as well as run a speed test to make sure that your internet speed is as promised. Second, you want to try to use a tunnel to decrease the distance between you and the servers if you find that it is a lot. All right, so now a recap for the high ping playstyle tips. Always make sure to focus on your aim more than anything. Remember that. This is going to make a world of difference when it comes to how you play. Always repeat to yourself that you can't get shot without being able to shoot back. So stay aware of players near you and always be ready to deal with the damage. 
Be sure to practice your aim, guys, as much as you can to improve your damage dealt per shot. For creative, use the map code. We showed you to get an instant ping boost. And last, but certainly not least, be sure to learn how to face through people's walls using the tactic we told you about before. And as always, guys, it has been an honor. Once again, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Hey, connect with me right now on my Instagram. We'd we'll love to hear from you, man. I believe in you guys. Hey, the sky is not even the limit, man. You're going to do far greater than that. And as always, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this, all right? And throw all your thoughts and comments down below. We would really appreciate that. Hey, we'll see you guys soon.